Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to a kind of first look at Mod Project Zomboid Map Vacation Islands. So I've just spawned in on a kind of standard survival game, picked my traits and stuff like that, and just thought I'd have a little pop around, a quick maybe 5 or 10 minute video, just to show you what the map's like. It's actually in development at the moment and at a kind of pre-alpha stage. I assume it'll release properly when kind of in conjunction with maybe build 31 or something like that. This, I think, was one of the first kind of modded, major modded Project Zomboid maps, uh, or major mod maps. And uh, good to see that it's making a return, especially with the release of such maps like New Denver coming out recently, and then obviously we had The Walking Dead Prison, Dreadwood, and Bedford Falls have all come out as well, so, you know, this could make one huge kind of fucking brilliant map um, so I'm just gonna take a little look around and show you guys the vacation islands in a town called Gutrot apparently so just equip the school bag and I assume it's gonna be pretty hot outside so I'm actually just gonna rip some sheets up as well probably need some bandages and let's just take a look around houses look pretty nice pretty swanky kind of holiday homes and stuff like that and just take a tiny bit of food. Um, fresh onion, fuck it. Take a drink as well, want to get fucking hydrated before I go. And let's just take a mug and fill that mug up as well. And I'm um, pretty good to go, pretty good to go and explore, hopefully find some good interesting stuff. There are a few features missing at the moment. As I said previously, it is in a kind of pre-alpha stage, so you can't actually cut down trees at the moment. Uh, so there's no tree felling and no farming, or there's problems with the farming at the moment as well. But what I would do is just take a little look around these houses and then explore the rest of the island. I've finally found myself a weapon, oh shit, and this is the first zombie I've actually seen yet, so... Um, pretty strange one. There's a leak. Fuck, I'm going to take that leak. And I don't think the zombie population is huge in comparison to kind of West Point and maybe not New Denver. On New Denver it's not amazingly large. Um, I mean, you know, places like Bedford Falls are pretty bad for zombies and stuff like that, but it seems to just be quite a few kind of holiday maker strays on this one. So if you were to come here and make a base, you'd probably have a a fairly decent time, but that's just my kind of first impression. I could be extremely wrong. Let's see if these got anything on them. Pink wallet. Nice pink wallet on that guy. That sounds really fucking dodgy. Pink wallet. I'm going to use that one again. I'm actually just going to smash through this glass. Just hop through. Probably should have wore a sweatshirt for that. Look at this fucking snazzy supermarket. A lot better than the one in West Point. Um... Concrete pile. Oh, right, is this a fucking DIY shop or something? Got some nails, right. If I can find a hammer, I can put them through my baseball bat anyway. And a uh, sheet of paper, trapping. Guarantee I'll end up finding a fucking jar and some lids while I'm here. Like, just be sods law, you know, just kind of. Ah, oh, you've been looking for them for like a month on your other playthrough. Here you go, have loads when you don't really need them, you twat. That's probably what will happen. And the game will actually come up on the screen and just say, you twat. A lot of books. Um, could be like a carpentry slash bookshop. Like the really backwards version of Borders or something. Rest in peace. Alright, some more nails. Some tissue, some nails and some tissue. Alright, it's pretty backwards. I'll take them anyway, fuck it. What is all this shit? Alright, just head out. Pretty impressed so far, though. Um, it seems to be working fairly smoothly, which is uh, which is obviously good news, especially if you guys were looking to play slightly further and stuff like that. Seems to just kind of work pretty well. I think we're finding a hammer, though. Uh, obviously, you know, the tree thing's kind of a major problem. You can get away with not farming for quite a while, um, especially if you're kind of clever about your food consumption. Consumption? Con consumption? Jesus Christ. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, the lack of planks and stuff will deter people to start with, but 
definitely worth a look round, and I assume the kind of tree problem we sorted fairly, fairly quickly. Alright, need to find a hammer. Box of nails. I'm going to bother taking them. Alright, okay, fuck that. Fine, let's have a look in here. This will be a toilet though, won't it? Okay, I don't know what the fuck this place is. That's a bit of a weird, like, ominous room right there. So, I'm going to smash my way out, make as much noise as possible. As uh, I don't have to live long, you know, I can just just chill out and just fuck around for a bit. And uh, hopefully actually explore this island. So, let's see what's on the other side of this fence. Um, it's not an incredibly big map. It's actually fairly small, but it's quite packed with some some decent stuff. I think there's some like hotels and stuff, as it is like a holiday resort. Um, and yeah, pretty good, pretty good stuff. A lot of residential as well. A lot of fine houses. Pretty fucking certain. And that zombie go upstairs. Right, I'm not going in there. There's two zombies in there. But yeah, it's fairly like placid, just to you know walk around and just chill out, just hammer a few zombies' heads in every now and then. And uh, basically get sunstroke, unpleasantly hot. Right, that's not good. That's not good at all. Could use the crowbar. That was actually recommended to me. Um, as a weapon that never breaks, so fairly fucking trusty. Uh, since the new builds, the axes have, axes have started breaking quite a lot. Unless uh, I think it maybe skills a factor in there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, it's quite frustrating at times. But well, let's take a look in this big fucker. Ah, that's a hedge. Shit. Right, I'll have to run round. Oh. oh, look at that pool. Fucking yeah. Right, so, you know, definitely worth downloading because it's got a pool in. So, who doesn't want to swim? Build a base uh, around the pool. You know, luxury in the zombie apocalypse. Why not? Some more? I don't know how I just got scared after wiping that zombie out. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, unfortunately there are little things like this, you know, kind of, I don't know, right. You know, maybe slight kind of pop in and stuff like that. Could actually take a sleep on a nice little stripy beach chair there as well. I'm just going to see this building. Looks quite, quite large. Just do the zombie in over the fence. No, it won't. Alright, there's going to be quite a few Zeds in here as well. By the looks of things. Fuck off. Don't know how I didn't smash that then. Is that wall missing? Right, now. Right, let's fucking have it. Bang. They only come out in, like, single file. They're super like zombies nowadays. Like, I oh, know, you know, not not too much. Like, we, we don't want to give you more than you can handle. Oh, shit. I completely take that back. Right, let's go and fight him on the beach, like, Cratty Kid or some shit. Did that happen in Cry Kid 1? I think that might have happened in Cry Kid 1. Oh shit. Fuck you, baseball bat. Fuck! Fucking. <laughs> oh shit, right, okay. That was nearly the worst playthrough ever. But, like, yeah, his first impressions of a map of me getting fucking ass raped by fucking Zeds on a beach. That'd be, uh, that'd be amazing. I'm sure you'd all download it then. You probably would, actually. You know, challenging. No gas rigged. It'll be a holiday you'll never forget. <laughs> fucking hell, the baseball watch shit. Come on, pan his fucking head in. There we go. There we go. Right, let's see if any of these are actually carrying anything. Don't mean like drugs or anything like that. It's not like a holiday in Cancun or something. So, let's just jump through here. Hopefully, I won't caught myself. Sac magique. Um, what have we got? So it looks like a pretty fairly big hotel. All that shit. So yeah, pretty good. Fucking hell, didn't manage to do that. What have you got on you? I used to love on Bedford Falls, all the zombies used to carry... Holy fuck, right, doesn't matter. So yeah, you, you get the gist, there's a hotel there. <laughs> fuck going through there. And I take back what I said about kind of the lesser zombies. Maybe they were all in like a conference or something together. Have they not left that room yet? Let's have a look at them over here. Oh. Right, yeah, that window. Fuck it, let's let them out. I might just lag. Come on. Right, yeah, fuck it. So yeah, if you do download it, don't go in that hotel. Or, you know, holiday you'll never forget. It'd be pretty bad. 
So let's just keep on going, having a look around. Alright, they're all gonna start flooding out, but again, single file, you know. Ooh. Don't wanna interrupt them two men in the toilet. Or them two ladies. That could have been a complete reversey percy order then. What's going on with this? It's actually getting pretty fucking late. Um my leak, which was refrigerated, I think, and my onion. And now uh, very warm, so that kind of displays the temperature of this map. Pretty, pretty hot shit. I don't know where it's actually based. Uh, obviously, gut rots. Surely not a normal place. Either that or I don't know anything about it. So. Just come into this, like, youth hostel or brothel? Fancy over the top brothel, maybe? There's a lighter and some shit there, that's pretty cool. And I think what I'm going to do is just take a sleep so I can show you guys the rest of this map or the rest of kind of what I find tomorrow in the daylight. Because, you know, otherwise it's going to be me kind of flustering around in the dark going, oh, yeah, look at, you know, this building, it's it's really good. Look at the design on that. And you're just like, I can't see it, you know, YouTube rendering shit. So what are you doing, you dickhead? So I've woken up and come for my morning piss, as you do, you know. And uh, a lot of nice toilets on this map. Some absolutely fantastic toilets. Oh shit, right, this is another hotel. Okay, alright, that's fine. Whoa, shit, right, oh fuck, shitty, fuck. So yeah, uh, another hotel, which is very dangerous. And there was probably going to be an axe or a hammer in that storage room, but... You know, I pooed myself a bit, so decided to run like the true man I am, you know. Real men sprint, etc. And, uh, yeah, all that shit. So, let's just knock this fucker the shit over. Oh, not dead, probably. There we go. I always get confused with the sounds, you know. But look at that, that's, that's, that's a pretty good hotel. I like the design, I think the building design is fucking really cool and... You know, more for modded maps, stuff like that, new stuff to play, and it just, you know, gives the actual original devs ideas, they incorporate a lot of it, and, you know, a very good team that actually share the modding of their maps and stuff like that, which is, uh, which is pretty good, an all-round fucking decent community, which is refreshing. So let's just see what's down this road, other than two lonely zombies just facing each other. home run this dickhead's head off. There we go. Problem solved. So I don't know if there's actually anything else. I might have actually hit the end of the map here. This looks like a dead end here. Yeah. I mean that's the only problem because it's not integrated or anything like that. I'm not too sure if you could actually integrate the lot files and the world files into your kind of vanilla game like I've done with you know the prison and New Denver and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it is very good, and I think especially when it gets the features that it that it needs, that it really does need, um, you know, like foraging and farming and chopping down trees and shit, uh, then it, you know, will be very good. I mean, I've only actually seen a few palm trees, which is to be expected on a kind of tropical-style island. You're not going to find like, loads of fucking oak trees or Dutch elms or some shit like that. But, um... Look at this fucking guy, it looks like Fonzie in that black vest and <laughs> black pants. But I probably will come back and look at this, maybe do a mini-series once it does get the correct features and stuff like that. But it looks very good to start with, um, you know, just have a little wander around. Here's another hotel as well. And, uh, you know, if it was to do a series, I'd obviously look at stuff kind of more in depth and, you know, shit like that. It'd be, you know, just be fine, it'd be, be brilliant. I, I do like the map, it's refreshing, it's different. And uh, I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys want to download it, have a look at it, or anything like that. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think below. Did you like the look of it? Do you think it will be any good? Etc, etc. Always happy to hear your feedback on these kind of things. And, uh, yeah, you know, it supports the map as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you soon.